ourselves with a grapefruit and basil martini. For this cocktail, you'll need a shaker. Into your shaker, put just a couple basil leaves, fresh, and muddle those up with two teaspoons of simple syrup. It's just spraying everywhere. Okay, once you've muddled those up, add some ice to your shaker. Now add two teaspoons of fresh green... Two days, no, two ounces of fresh squeezed grapefruit juice. Last of all, add two ounces of gin. Best sound in the world. Take these up. Oh god, oh god. <clears throat> Pour this into your martini glass. What? Add just a sprig of basil. <laughs> Add just a sprig of basil to garnish and enjoy. And up to the hairs of my ginny gin gin. First things first, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Next, roll out your pie crust. I'm like peeling a band-aid. Yeah, except for hopefully it tastes better. <laughs> so we are going to pre-bake this crust. So in order to weigh it down so that it doesn't warp while it's baking, uh, you should use your pie weights. Stick it in your oven at 350 for about 10 to 15 minutes until it's just lightly golden brown. This makes me want pasta. No, pesto. Pesto pasta. Hmm. First things first, we're making the grapefruit custard for the bottom layer of the pie. Get a medium saucepan, add three quarters of a cup of sugar, one third a cup of cornstarch, one quarter teaspoon of salt. Mix these together and get out as many lumps as you can. Add one and a quarter cup of sweat fresh. Mm, add one and a quarter cup of fresh squeezed grapefruit juice. Now the color of the pie will depend on the color of the grapefruit you use, so I'm using the ruby red because it's pretty. Also add one half a cup of water. Stir all this together. Next, beat in the yolks of four eggs. So when you separate your eggs, make sure to set aside the whites because we will be using those for the meringue portion of the evening. Once it's all evenly mixed, put this on a medium heat. Bring it to the boil till it starts to bubble and thicken. Turn down the heat just a little bit and keep it over the heat until it holds its shape when you stir it. It should have like a pudding consistency. Okay, so once you have this thick grapefruit custard, take it off your heat. Add one tablespoon of fresh grapefruit rind, four tablespoons of chopped up butter. Stir this in until the butter is completely melted and combined. Aren't you grateful we haven't made too many puns on the show yet? That's a stuff. Pour your grapefruit custard into your cold pie crust. Cover this with just a little bit of plastic wrap. Stick it in the fridge until you're ready to add the meringue topper. Wait, for, so for the meringue topper, start out by adding one. So, it turns out that silly drunk bitch in the polka dots has absolutely no idea how to make meringue and she's about to waste a whole lot of time for nothing. So I'm here to save you some time, show you how it's really done. First of all, you're going to need a metal or a glass bowl with your four egg whites in there. Start by adding one quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar, one half teaspoon of vanilla, and just beat these till the egg whites are nice and frothy. Add one half a cup of sugar, one tablespoon at a time. I went wrong last time because I added all of the sugar at once my first time making meringue and I was also several shots of gin for the worst. It's really important to add the sugar just a little bit at a time so that the meringue can maintain its like light airiness. So what you should have once you've incorporated all of your sugar is this pure white stiff mixture that should stand in like soft peaks where they just curl over. Set your egg whites to the side for just a tick. Add one tablespoon of cornstarch to a pan. Also one tablespoon of sugar and one third a cup of water. Now you're going to take this pan, put it on a medium heat, keep stirring it. It should take about five minutes for this to turn into like a slightly translucent goo. Transfer that directly into your bowl. 
basically helps maintain the structural integrity of the meringue. That is an actual proper goddamn meringue. Put it on top of whatever goddamn pie you please. Back to you, Heather. Just make sure your meringue mixture is even. Swirl some pretty patterns in there. Stick it in your oven at 350 for 20 to 25 minutes. Make sure to check it consistently over the last 5 to 10 minutes because the peaks can burn quite quickly if you're not careful. Here we have our grapefruit meringue pie. Let it cool for a little while, but not very long because meringue is best when it's fresh. So here to taste the pie with me today is my friend Lucy, who's totally hot and awesome. Hello. <laughs> we are going to get into this grapefruit meringue pie. Oh, meringue. <laughs> you son of a bitch. It's all over the place. Here we go. Holy Moses, you guys. This is literally the best smelling pie I've ever smelled. That's sand smoothing. Stick it in your pie hole. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Will no. your life ever be the same again? This is amazing. Have you ever made this before? No. <laughs> you guys, this is the equivalent of, like, meeting a really sexy man for the first time. Do go that. on. <laughs> Long hair, mm. like, he's got a man bun. Mm and he can't stop staring at you. Mm -hmm. Then it, it's like the chase with this guy for like three months, right? And the excitement of all of that. And now <laughs> picture this. He asks you out and he asks you to your favorite restaurant and he never asked you that, he just knew. Mm -hmm. And then at the end of the night, I mean, he did everything he does is right and at the end of the night. You're nervous because you know he's gonna kiss you. And he does. It's like, it's like you get lost in his kiss. You can't even think straight, like your head immediately starts spinning. You don't need that because we've got this grapefruit meringue pie. This drink, man. And this drink, this is a really good drink. <laughs> I can feel you can have Oh no, I put it on my clothes. <laughs> I mustn't wait to waste any beans. <laughs> so once again, this is my friend Lucy. Hello. She's a singer. Uh, you can find her music on her YouTube channel, Derbyfield Music. We'll post the link below. Yay. She's beautiful and talented, and she <laughs> loves men with man buttons. Mm -hmm. Fellas, get on it. Fellas. <laughs> or on me. Either mm -hmm. way, I'm good. You've got two red-headed ladies here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. This has been Stick It In Your Pie Hole. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Post about us on Facebook. Talk about us on Twitter. Instigate conversations on Instagram. Good night to you. <laughs>